Hey, what's up guys, it's Sovereign Banana here. So if you keep track of the value of Rocket League items, you probably know that the vast majority of them slowly go down. And that's to be expected. Hype dies down, more items are unboxed, and more items are obtained through play. But in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the select few that are sticking it to the man, and have risen or are rising in price. Let me start off with a little disclaimer to say this is recorded beginning of March 2017. So some of the items and their values mentioned here might become outdated. But hopefully the concepts as to why they rose up in value don't. Kicking things off with the ever so expensive alpha and beta items. These were obtained through participating in the alpha and beta stages of the game. As these are limited items, their supply is low and their value high. So it should be no surprise that these items increase in value. What is surprising is the sharp and sudden spike in value, with increases ranging from 75 to 150 percent. The spike has led to some uncertainty in the community. Is supply genuinely dwindling, or are there big traders hoarding all these items? Next on the list we have Crimson Lightnings, one of the most iconic items in the trading scene. When Crimson Lightnings got their first established price of 30 to 35 keys, they weren't considered anything special. However, they became the first item to increase in value, hitting about 50 plus keys. The Reddit community was extremely unhappy with this rise in price, believing it was attributed to market manipulation, such as item hoarding or artificial ads or offers. Crimson Lightnings then became the poster child of Rocket League trading. You'd rarely come across a cheap one, everyone wanted great offers for theirs, and some held theirs believing they'd increase further in price. I believe these to be the reasons as to why they stayed strong at their high price. But this all changed with the player's choice crate. With the crate's inclusion of lightning wheels, many owners must have believed that the quantity of crimson lightnings would shoot up. This panic selling led to crimson lightnings dropping in about 10 keys, hitting a low of 42. The panics died down and these titans have risen back to their 50 to 55 key range. Next on the list we have white, black and grey zombies. If you've been keeping your eye on white zombies you would have seen a crazy increase in price. When they got their first established price they were around 30 keys. They eventually spiked up to the 55 range and have now risen to the 80 to 90 key range. I'm a believer that this drastic increase has to do with market manipulation. Here is a one and a half month old reddit post that acts as some proof to this claim. The accused manipulator confesses to having 57 white zombies. I also feel the item now has a lot of hype surrounding it, similar to the crimson lightnings. This could help the item keep its current value or possibly push it even further. Black zombies have also seen an increase in price, from around 30 to 40 keys. With white's increase in price, I believe black becomes a more appealing alternative for a neutral painted zomba, and this in turn creates some hype for black zombas. And grey zombas, which have risen by around 3 keys. I feel the reasoning is similar to black zombas, as they work as a neutral alternative to white. I also believe there's a stigma attached to grey items, and people are slowly realizing that a grey exotic doesn't necessarily look bad. Moving on we have painted loopers. Now aside from crimson and the low tier painted loopers, most loopers saw a rise and fall centered around the player's choice crate. However, they are still about 1-2 to two keys higher than a month ago. The increase on crimson loopers has been a bit more drastic and is about 8-10 to 10 keys higher than last month. Now there's not much info to suggest why crimson loopers have shot up in price. There have been no signs of hoarding but a few reddit users have been banned for artificial offers. And to close off our list I'll be going over a few items which I'm not entirely sure why they increased. If I had to take a guess I'd probably say they were undervalued. We've got Crimson Discos and Crimson Pulses which over the past month or two have gone up by 2 to 3 keys. We've got Crimson Photons that have increased by about 1 key. We've got white discos that are up about 3 keys. We've got forest green, cobalt, 
orange and purple discos up about one key. And minus the alphas, our only non-exotic wheel, black chakrams, up by about a key. And that covers today's list. If I missed any items or you've got some theories behind these increases, let me know down below. If you missed my previous video on the top 5 scam methods, make sure to click the thumbnail in the top right. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that subscribe button as it helps me out a lot. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace!